Um, but every day in Nava that we have Mr. Steve Apodaca here, we have some food that we sh shouldn't be eating, but <laughs> he knows that we're going to eat it. Uh, swimsuit season right around the corner. Can you believe it? It's coming. It's oh, here. My goodness. So there's a lot of reasons why people may be struggling to lose weight, right? Um, what are some of those reasons? Yeah, so the people that come in and they meet with us, you know, it, it's a common story that we hear, uh, you know, quite frequently, which is, yeah, I'm doing the same thing that I used to do and I can't seem to lose the weight. I'm working out. Uh, I'm working out the same regimen I used to do 10 years ago. I'm not losing the weight. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was in my 20s, I could lose the weight. I could gain it, lose it right back. And then what I would find is that uh, I can't lose it now. What is going on? Right. Um, or people are looking at the scale and they tend to see, hey, five pounds gained over the last five years, another five pounds, another five pounds. Right. And it just starts to accumulate. And so it's those things along with low energy right. that makes it harder and harder to lose that weight as we get a little bit older. It's uh, you look at the scale; it can be discouraging, you know. So the scale isn't the end all, right? Right. Yeah. And, and most people are, you know, they're so focused on the scale; they're weigh weighing themselves every day. And what we find is that the scale itself is. While it's a good directional measurement, it's actually not the true uh, accurate way to measure lean body mass. Mm. And so as people go on their programs, they start to gain muscle. Muscle weighs more than fat. Mm -hmm. And so that's a big piece of it. We want people to gain that muscle mass back. But muscle also does a couple other things. It will help you burn that fat as well. So uh, while we'll look at the scale, we may not actually lose weight. Right. We may end up uh, changing the way our body looks, however, you know, the belt size might come down a notch. Those skinny jeans that we used to wear or the skirts that yeah. uh, that used to fit that don't fit anymore. You know, all of those things are better measurements that you can see how hey, I'm starting to fit in my clothes again. Right. And so that's really what we look for. And the program itself is really about people gaining their momentum back so that we can eat those sausages <laughs> and we can snack and have a good yes. time, but we can also enjoy uh, the lifestyle while keeping the weight off as well. So that's why our patients always come back to us and they're always saying, hey, look, you know, it's time for me to lose some of that weight. We'll have, this is the season for us where people come back in, they're like, hey, I lost 10, 15 pounds last year. Yeah, I'm back at it back again. Back at it. And for the new patients, you know, it's $77. Come in, take a shot, see what works for you. Um, you're going to meet with our nurse practitioner and our medical professionals. They'll do an assessment, and at that point, they'll come up with a program that works for you. Mm -hmm. And that's really what they're looking for is something that's customized that you can develop on your own that allows you to have a lifestyle where you can eat that pizza once in a while or the sausage right. or go out and enjoy life. And, and that's a perfect point. We have it up on the screen right now, the five myths of weight loss. So, um, you know, starving yourself certainly yeah. isn't one of them. Uh, working out, you know, like a, a maniac right. isn't one of them. And then um, your thyroid, that's something that you guys can Absolutely. find out for yourself. Absolutely, we see that time and time again. And, you know, people come in, women in particular are always asking, I think it's my thyroid. We'll measure it and find out. Generally speaking, it's usually in the healthy range, and it's not typically the thyroid, although that seems to be one of the misperceptions mm. that people come up with. But things like, yeah, I have to starve myself. We actually, believe it or not, you actually have to eat to lose weight. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. and, and you don't need to work out like a maniac. You know, uh, we're not Michael Phelps. We're not Olympians. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what is it that works for our lifestyle? So many of those things are all things that we look at, like fad diets, for example. Oh, if I do this fad diet, I'll lose the weight. The problem is you gain it all back. So yeah. we, want, we want a lifestyle change, and that's what we do is give you the boost right. so that we can get back at it. You know, half the, half the equation is on us to give you the boost, but the other half sits on the patient. It and does. For the person Because there is no magic pill, but sometimes you just need that boost and motivation to get going. And you can get that boost, guys, literally, um, for $77. 70, 77 Yeah, so give them a call. You can go to kratoshealth.com, learn everything you need to know, feel your best before that swimsuit season hits, um, and it's possible with you guys. So thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me on, Kitty. I appreciate it. And this segment has been sponsored by Kratos Health.